Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to be doing the build of issues 16 to 21. Um, so in issue 16, we have the final stern pieces um, and then we've got uh, the planking to start. So as you can see, all the decks now secure, it's all leveled all the way through. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing is fitting the stern sections to these parts here. What we'll do is we'll get these pieces out of the stern uh, and in that you get the supporting pieces uh, which are these pieces here. Um, you get the, uh, the deck extensions which are these two pieces here or this piece here is the deck extension um, you get the bracing sections which are these two bits here and finally you get <coughs> two half frames again which are these two sections here so this is going to form another frame um, which will also go in so I will get on to getting these out of the fret we'll get these sanded and then we'll proceed to the next section Okay guys, so all the pieces are now uh, have been removed from the fret, sanded down. And so the first pieces we're going to use um, are the uh, support pieces. So these will fit either side of the keel. Um, so I'll just show you where they're placed. So these pieces will be placed um, flush to frames number 26. Um, and just in front of the slot here, uh, you also want this top uh, f level with top of the keel section. Um, so that will fit in that section there and the same on the other side. Um, as you can see, the um, it does slope down at the bottom. That slope will fit against um, frame 26. So they're same on both sides. So once you've glued those in place, clamp them. Once the uh, glue has dried and cured, uh, we can move on to the next section. So I'll get in, I'll get on to uh, clamping these, putting these in place, gluing them, and then we can start with the next section. Okay, guys. So as you can see, those pieces have been glued in place. Um, I've also glued along the edge where it touches the frame so it's actually got added support um, against the deck and against this frame here so it's actually glued in place there so we'll get those clamped in so they're both done both sides as you can see um, there is the gap as well for um, the next frame to go in so make sure that that is free so that means that when we do put the frames in uh, later um, the gallery frame it's not going to be a struggle to get in. So I'll get on with those with clamping and then we can proceed to the next section. Okay guys, so the next sections to fit in are the two um, half frames. So these will be glued along the edge, all the way along the edge, and they will then slot up into um, the pieces that you've just installed, slot up, pushed right up, once they're in, um, that will be level with the top of the keel frame. If you have a look at the um, edge, you'll see that they are uh, up to the top. So what we'll do is we'll get those bits put in now, uh, either side, um, get those all glued up, and then we can proceed to the next bit. Okay, guys, so as you can see, um, both of the frames have now been glued in. Um, I've also run some glue down the edges um, at either side of the frame so it holds a bit more securely on the keel. So both front and back, some glue down the side just to ensure that that is a nice firm hold. One thing you want to ensure that when you're um, putting these frames in, again use your set square i've taken the, the the boat out of the jig for the moment just to see if this, they're, they're all lined up so use your set square both at the top and the bottom to make sure that the frames are fully 
a 90 degree angle. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing is fitting this piece in, piece in here. As always, do a dry fit. Um, you may need to get um, your uh, emery board uh, to go into the slots, just to give those, uh, or to widen those slightly, to fit onto the lugs here, on, on the, uh, basically the support frames. Or the, um, so, now that's all been done, we'll get this glued in place uh, and then then I can show you what that looks like. Right guys, so now that is um, all in place, we're gonna let that uh, the glue cure. Um, the next stage will be to fit uh, the final uh, frame along with the gallery. That will slot in and be glued um, to this deck here and then the um, the final two bracing pieces will just go in front of um, the gallery section on there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll allow all this glue to cure uh, and then we'll come back to this tomorrow uh, and then we can finalise um, the fitting out of the keel and the frames. Um, so that will be the last section and then we'll get to start um, on the planking so see you tomorrow guys welcome back guys so the 24 hours is up so as you can see the glue has all cured underneath it's all been uh, nicely secured um, I've also uh, just glued the edges uh, where they hit that frame there um, so the next section uh, we'll be putting um, the gallery, final frame in, and the gallery, uh, which we built earlier. Uh, so that will slot in um, to the keel um, all the way down. What I'm going to do is just move this section out of the way now. Um, and then what we want to do is ensure that that is at 90 degrees and flush up against the um extended deck so that will be glued on like that um, and then we've just got a few bits just to put um, in that section here uh, but we'll show you in a bit once this section has been glued in uh, so i'll go away i'll get all that uh, set up glued in place get it clamped so it's nice and secure and then we can carry on with the final parts of issue number 16. Okay so what we're going to be doing is uh, gluing along this part here which is the extension of the deck. Uh, we'll also glue down uh, in the slot on the keel uh, just there to give us a, a nice lot of glue uh, <coughs> and then we'll put some just uh, around about here and then that slot and on the reverse that way we know we've got a nice um, uh, an ample lot of glue for so we're going to get a good hold so if you just put the glue along here like this both sides going all the way along okay then down in the slot And then again, uh, the slot on the actual frame. And then we could also just do a little line that goes down uh, both sides. So now that is in, so what we're gonna do is put that in to the slot slides it all the way down again make sure it's all the way down and nicely fitting so what you also want to do is get your set square and you want to make sure that you've got a nice uh, right angle uh, 
So it will be this lower deck and the base, that should be a nice right angle. Um, so ideally what you'll have is, uh, once we clamp this down, we'll get some clamps, two clamps, one each side. So we'll have one here. We'll have one a bit, open them out a bit further. So it goes to the frame and to the end. To the frame and to the end. Just again, double check that you've got your right angles, which I'm happy with. Okay, so now that the um, uh, gallery is in um, and the last frame is in, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fitting uh, the last um, bracing pieces. Uh, these are number 48 uh, on the your, um, fret. Uh, so what these do is these will fit uh, they're actually bracing pieces, so these will actually fit um, between the last frame, uh, but they'll also glue on to the gallery as well. So I'll just show you where they fit, and then we'll get them glued in place. Okay guys, so if you remember the piece that we fitted uh, at the start, um, there's a little notch, as you can see, uh, just at the back there. Um, these sections here, they will fit in there and at the side um, of the gallery frame. Um, so they will go in there all the way to the end um, and slot up. So you need to ensure that they're in fully um, and this should actually be, when you look at it, it will be in line with the frame. So it'll have the same curvature as the last frame, the gallery frame. Uh, so as you can see, um, so what we want to do when we're fixing these, um, we will put the glue uh, along this edge and also along this face so that when it's glued, it will actually adhere to the gallery frame as well. So we'll get those put in place uh, and then we can show you those in place once they're clamped down. Okay guys, so they're all in place as you can see. Um, I've just put the clamps on to hold them in place as well um, until the glue cures. I've actually gone um, where the support actually also joins uh, this deck part. I've just run some glue along there for added um, rigidity. So once that cures, that's nice and solid. Um, just the clamps are in place just to hold them all in place um while the that glue all cures so that is done both sides and that is it for issue 16. Uh, as you can see it's coming along quite nicely well guys so that is the gallery now in place um, along with um, the supports the extension deck so congratulations you've reached your first milestone which is um, the actual frame of the ship. Uh, the next sections uh, we are gonna start doing are the planking. So uh, we'll start talking about planking methods, um, plank bending, uh, and the tools that you, you can use to actually get your uh, formations. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll let this, uh, keep the glue cure, um, and then we can come back uh, and then we'll s have a look at, as I say, various uh, be plank bending options for you. Um, and then we've also got to start looking at um, just sanding the frames at the front and the backs um, so we can actually fit the planks themselves. Uh, but we'll talk more about that uh, later on. Welcome back. Uh, so now we've uh, finished um, 
back with the keel and got everything in place. Before we start the planking, um, there are uh, a couple of methods I'd like to show you about um, the planks and bending. Um, so what you want to do is we will be bending the planks round the front um, put them onto the side of, of the keel. Um, so there's various methods that you can use um, to bend uh, your planks. Um, so a couple of the plank bender types are um, these are like a scissor one. So it's got a flat block, as you can see, flat block, and then um, almost like a, a wedge blade on the top. Um, so by using those, what you can do is if you just um, use the uh, put the plank in and then just basically crimp um, the wood, what that will do is it'll put little crimps into the wood and slowly, as you can see, um, it starts to bend the plank. Um, so you can do that as far as you need um, and then that can be fitted um, in, to, in shape. Um, if you could do it, you can actually also do like a curved shape as well. Uh, so if you do it at a slight angle to the wood, what that will do is it'll actually twist the wood as well um, as you're going along. So the wood not only curves, but it twists as well. Um, if you want to get the shape required um, as you're fitting it. So you've got slight twist as you can see um, there, which um, will be easier to fit. The tighter the crimps, or the closer together the crimps, the tighter the curl is going to be. Obviously the more spaced out it's going to be a lighter curve. So that's one method uh, that you can use uh, for your bending of the planks. Um, that is a very useful one uh, to start off with, very easy to use. Um, you don't see much of a, uh, a crimp on the back, um, so that is, is the outside of the wood. As you can see it's, it doesn't show through a great deal, but you've got to be careful that you don't crimp too heavily, otherwise you'll start seeing the marks uh, on the uh, planks. The second um, item that you can use is a, a rotating plank bender like this. Um, I tried this one, I wasn't too keen on it actually. So what you can do is, is you can um, basically, similar sort of method to the um, uh, plank benders that you've got, or, or the the um, hand ones what you can do with this one is same method you can put your wood in depending on how um, how wide you want the crimp or basically the curve what you do is you can adjust the little screw at the back and then you can put the Wood in just make it show it's it's joined tight up tighten up the bottom uh, nut and then what you should do is just roll it in so once it once it's in just roll it through uh, but you do need to go quite tight on these I believe um, and then what that will do is we'll try and get this a bit tighter so what that should do in theory is it should put the grooves onto the onto the wood like the plank bender this will automatically do it um, so if you get it straight and flat that should roll through but so I, I, I've, not, I've tried this I wasn't too keen on it it didn't actually seem to want to go through properly so if you Actually, that bit looks better. So as you can see, it's rolling through, and it will 
put the crimp in that you need. So you just run it back and forwards. And then once you take it out, obviously you can see that start to form um, the curve. So you can do that and run it up the different sections. Um, leave the smallest one if you want a tighter curve. So you just run it backwards and forwards. Like so, uh, to get your curve that you want. So the more you do it, obviously the better um, you're gonna get the curve. So that is another method that you can use. Uh, and as I say, you want the curves in the wood. As you can see, that's uh, curved nicely. So once you've got your desired curve, take that out. Again, it, it doesn't leave, it, it puts the groove on the reverse side of this. So the actual, if you have a look, the marks on the outside. Um, so it depends if that is going to be visible. Again, that will then fit round, um, which I will show you. Okay, so there is the front uh, of the keel. Uh, once it's bent, it will actually uh, form the curve there. So that's how you get your curves um, with, with that. Uh, and the same concept applies uh, for the first tool we used as well. Uh, so we're going to put curves in the front, but then we'll also have to put curves in the back here as well um, so for, the, for the blanking. Okay, so the third option available for you, um, so those two are, are the manual ones. The third option available um, is um, an electric uh, iron. It's almost like a soldering iron, but it's got this rounded um, ball of metal on the end. Um, with that, you also get a form um, that you can use. These, uh, This is really good if you're doing um, items such as the launch, which has is, is got very thin strakes uh, and pieces of wood. Um, so that is ideal uh, and when you're using this what you do is you soak your wood uh, in some water so do a few sh uh, bits of wood have them in the water soaking once this is really hot um, you then can slowly put the wood onto the form and then run the iron down it and gradually form it um, using the form, form your bend, um, so that will press in, because the wood is softened with the water, it will soften in and it will give you a nice curve um, that you can use um, on your planking on the bow uh, and on the stern. So they're the three types of um, tools that I use for actually forming the curves on the front and where, where needed on the boats uh, and on the launches. Um, you're also going to need, as you're putting your planks in, um, it's called a pin pusher. So what this is, is um, it's just a little tube, but inside it's got a little rod as you can see. So what you will do is you'll place your pins um, that you receive in each issue into those and then if I can demonstrate this I'll just get one set up for you so I've put um, as you can see I put a pin into uh, the pin pusher um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just secure um, a plank uh, to an off on, on a cut of uh, old wood uh, to um, another bit of, of wood really so I'll just show you this so I'll just scroll down so all you do is once you've got the pin pusher you press it down like that and then what that will do is as you press it that will push uh, the pin into um, into the frame so what we'll be doing is um, you'll be using the pin pusher to push the pins through the planks where they join the, the frames 
Uh, so I'll just show you where they're going to go. Okay, so as you as you are fitting your planks, the pins will actually be pushed into each of these sections of the frames. You don't want to really go too deep with these. It's up to you. Some people want to keep um, the pins showing. Other people just push them in slightly just to hold the plank in place, and then they're removed at a later point. It's totally up to you, preference-wise. Uh, so some people like to push the pins in and then just take the heads off. But that is, is a preference for yourself. Um, so you'll be getting loads and loads of pins. Uh, if you're taking them out, you end up with quite a few pins. Um, if uh, and I, I just store them in case I need any spares. Um, so that is the pin pushers and how they will work. Something else you'll be needing is some drill bits, some very fine drill bits. Um, so they're going to be used for the ends um, of the planks. So when you fit in them, when you get to the end and as you're putting them in, um, rather than you pushing the pin through, because that could split the wood here, um, best thing to do is just do a small pilot hole uh, with a fine uh, drill bit, put your pin in, that will ensure that the wood doesn't split. Um, some of these bits of wood we will be um, tapering down, so that gap here will be getting smaller so it's ideal if you do use a little drill bit to make a pilot hole that way you're not going to split that wood um, and then you're going to end up with a neater finish uh, on your planking um, if you remember in the magazine it was talking about the guillotines um, which you can use um, as I spoke briefly about those the guillotines for cutting your planking um, I also use hand guillotine as well. Um, this one is good if you if you just want to quickly mark a little section. Uh, again, it's a little cutting board there or flat piece there, and then you've got a blade, a cutting blade, which if you want to, you can just uh, cut the wood as you want it uh, or angle it however you need. Uh, so that is also very useful. Um, a lot of these can be bought from modelling shops um, and, and very reasonable priced, so you can buy them from the modelling shops. Um, if you're in the UK, I use a modelling shop called uh, Cornwall Models. Uh, I'll put the link into um, the description below if you want to purchase anything. They do some very good uh, items. Um, so give them a, a, a look up, they are very, very good. Another item you're going to need is a small hammer. Um, so if you just start the pin pushing in, uh, you can just finish that off slightly with a hammer. Um, also, you're going to need your glue. So that's it for the tools that um, you might want to have a look at. So now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to uh, tell you why we're going to be sanding um, some of the front frames and the rear frames. So when you're fitting your planking, when there's a curb, um, what you want to do is the frames, as, um, as you can see, that they're, they're gonna be square. So what that means, if you try and glue um, the planking on as it's going around a, um, the, the bend uh, or the curve, only a small part is actually in contact with the flame, frame, as you can see. So what we need to do is we need to sand the frame so it's got a curve or an edge so that more of the um, plank will be in contact with the frame. So I'll just show you uh, what I'll do on this uh, piece of wood. I'll get that sanded and show you what we're looking for. Okay guys, so as you can see, what I've done on this piece of wood, I've just um, got a file, um, a rough file, and just basically taken off the corner. Um, so this is what you want to do on the front. So as you can see, now that it's bent, all of the uh, plank is in contact um, with the frame. So that's what you're looking for. So you have contact, uh, more stability in the planking, because if it's only a small bit, um, it will come loose. So with more um, plank in contact with the frame, you've got a better join um, and it will be overall 
a better looking model once that's done. So what we need to do um, as per uh, issue 16 is um, just take this out. What we're going to need to do is um, these frames, so it most probably be as it's coming round, if you measure in, you can see which frames um, with a piece of wood, bend, test bend a piece of wood, put it onto where you want and then mark it round. You'll actually see where the frames um, aren't touching, um, or sorry, the plank where it isn't touching the frames completely. So those pieces we're going to need to um, sand down or file down uh, to get a nice, um, nice curve so that the the planks will sit nicely. So what we'll do is we'll do the front and we'll do the back um, of the boat of the ship. These frames here, they're also going to need to be sanded. Um, so they will also need to be um, filed as well. So if you have a look in um, issue 16, it will show you which frames ideally need to be sanded down. So what I will do is I will get on with my filing um, and I'll show you that once it's completed. Okay guys, as you can see, we've shaped the bow frames. Um, so that will ensure that um, when the we start planking, um, the wood will have a nice curve round. As you can see, um, it's touching all of the um, bow formers. Um, and then it'll go round um, and then can, that will be uh, planked into place or put into place. So that's been done both sides. Um, so as always get yourself a piece of wood which you've formed um, with a blank uh, with a, a uh, bender and then just test fit again both sides. Um, to ensure that you've got a nice join uh, on both sides. So guys, as with the um, bow section, we're also going to need to um, trim the rear frames. Um, so we'll be doing the last three frames. Um, again, we'll be taking the edge off so that when the planks um, lay on them um, as you can see at the moment they've got a, a, um, a gap so we'll be trimming these frames down um, to form a nice curve we'll also be needing to trim this section down here um, and then we'll be taking that off as well so it gives us a nice curve down that way so using your file um, and sandpaper, we'll be taking those sections off either side uh, of this um, keel support. Um, so we'll get on with that, I'll get on with that, and then I'll show you what that looks like um, once that's finished. So as you can see, um, I've sanded um, the edge of the last three frames. Uh, I've also taken the section uh, of this uh, enforcing uh, block out really because it enforces the keel um, so that has been sanded down um, so what you can do is as you as you look at it um, hypothetically when we, when we put a, a plank across um, they will sit nice and flat um, so that's been done both sides as you can see so they are all sanded um, so always check with a, a plank uh, to make sure that they sit nice and there's no untoward lumps or bumps um, on the planking um, and then if you're happy with that um, the next steps we're going to start doing is we're going to start the actual planking itself so what we'll do is we won't uh, we can use the jig temporarily but only for a short period because once we start planking the 
the hull we won't be able to uh, put that into the jig uh, anyway so I'll show you what I'll be using after um, so that is um, the first section of uh, issue number 17 um, next we'll be doing um, just planking from this here all the way up and I believe we'll finish this section down here as well so we'll start by putting the, the planks on the bamboo planks so they will go up uh, they will be glued in place so that is the next step so we'll get on with that okay guys so now we are going to be um, planking out the transom um, so what we're going to be doing is using the pin pusher um, as per the magazine so what we will do is line up the um, plank with the frames um, and then push the pin through once we've glued the frames so I will get on and glue the frames so what we want to do um, is put the spots of glue on this last piece um, so the plank is actually going to be sitting on the ends of the frames or of, of this frame just before the curve um, so that will be the first plank that we'll be laying make sure they're all lined up nicely um, and then later once all that section is done there'll be the other planking which will go on the curve here um, so we'll start to uh, plank the curve at a later date um, so you want to make sure all this plank is nicely aligned um, and then obviously that will ensure that we've got a good um, good plank to lay, start this one okay so I'll get on with this and then I'll show you that plank in place there is going to be an overhang uh, either side um, but that will be cut off any excess will be cut off at a later date okay to use the pin pusher what you want to do is just um, feed your pin into the pin pusher um, get your plank lined up and then all you do is if you just slightly move it you'll see the pin come out uh, you do need to apply a bit of pressure just to push the pin into the wood and then what I tend to do is just uh, tap it further down with a bit of a hammer just to make sure it goes in enough so that is now held in place so what we will do is we will carry on um, with the rest of the pins okay guys so as you can see that is the first plank in um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue adding the planks um, along the transom section um, it's up to you in the magazine it just says put the some glue on the sides here uh, if you want to you can also add some glue along the edge to give it um, some extra um, ridge, uh, strength um, so that is totally up to you uh, I'm personally going to add the glue to the end on, on the edge and then I'll get all those in place all right guys so as you can see the second planking is now on all leveled up with the first um, if you are gluing the planks together along the edge uh, you're going to need to give these a sand to make sure all the glue is off after um, because otherwise when you're painting the paint won't stick to the glue very well um, but we'll tidy all that up later um, and we'll get on up planking the rest of the um, transom um, up to um, where um, the centre keel is. Hi guys, so one thing I have noticed when you're fitting these is there is a slight bow which goes in as well. So what I would recommend that you do is when you're fitting these, go from the inside out. Um, that way um, you're going to ensure that um, it takes into account that bow. Because if you start from the outside, um, and tack the outsides to hold it in place when you come to the inside it's going to start trying to pull it so do from inside out and then you know that they're all going to be secured okay guys so if you've been fitting your planking correctly 
um, the fifth plank uh, which you'll be fitting will actually go up to the edge of the keel uh, and it will sit on there quite nicely so that is how uh, or what we're looking for um, so as long as you've, you've actually fitted your first plank correctly all the other planks should sit uh, in line quite nicely um, so we'll get this one in place and then we can start the next sections and I'll show you how to do those okay guys so now the planking uh, these planks are in uh, we're going to just finish off either side of the stern post so as per the magazine you want to cut your strip uh, at 15 centimeters um, and then fit either side left and right of the stern post uh, the magazine says you don't need to pin these in but I'm going to do that as a precaution um, to allow the once or to allow the glue to cure once those are in so I'll continue with those and then we'll show you what that looks like okay guys so as you can see we fitted the um, uh, half planks either side of the stone post so what we need to do now is cut a strip in half uh, lengthways um, and that will just be used just to finish off this little section here um, which will go in there so you don't need a full plank so we're going to cut this lengthways either side and that will fit in just to tidy up that little section here um, just up to the top of the frames okay and then once that's in we can sand these down once the glue has cured so the half strips have been put in place um, because this, they're a lot thinner than the full strips um, I've not put the pins in but what I've done is I've just clamped um, to ensure that they are secure against the um, frames um, and then we'll just let that glue cure uh, in the meantime we can start this bottom section again planking uh, all the way across um, down to the end here so the last three frames um, at the let's say the bottom of the keel here um, have now been put in place and pinned uh, so what we'll do now is we will wait for the glue to cure um, and then what we can do is just sand this edge so it's in line with the back frame um, and then just trim down um, what I've done earlier is I've trimmed the edge of these planks um, that gave us sufficient um, wood um, to do these these sections here so they'll all be trimmed down and sanded so they're all in line uh, with the frames uh, and then we can continue uh, with the next steps so I'll let this cure um, that will be done overnight so I will come back to you tomorrow and we can continue with the planking um, We'll set, take all the pins out, give it a quick sand down to make sure it's all nice and neat. Because uh, what we need to do is just give it like a small uh, curve as well. Um, using the... Uh, so they're aligned with the rib frames. And then what we can do is we'll be starting um, the planking on the bow section. So that would be... Um, the next steps so see you tomorrow guys as always okay guys welcome back so um the glue has now cured um on the transom so i will just show you this so as you can see um it's all nice and uh cured off um what i do is i've removed the pins but what i do is i use my um shaped pliers to remove the pins that way you can you can use that to rock it, to pull a pin out gradually. Don't try and pull it all out at once because um, it may um, obviously break the glue seal. Um, so just go along, move all the pins. What we need to do now is just cut down the edges um, on both sides so they're aligned with the frames um, and then just sand them down as well so they're also aligned with the top of the frame so I'll get on with that now and I'll show you that once it's finished so I sanded the um, transom the back bit of the transom um, to, to match up um, so what we need to do is sand the top part here uh, the, the uh, half strake 
half, half plank we put on there and those so they are in line with the back um, so that will that will be ready for later uh, this part here this plank here has also been sanded um, and then we've also sanded the edges so what you want to do is the edges here um, either side you want those so that when a plank is fitted um, when you look at the plank it's not going to be bearing outwards so it'll be a, a nice smooth curve from um, the frames to the end um, so that's what you're really looking for um, to get the profile of this edge here so just keep get, get a piece of uh, a planking lay it onto the um, frames if it looks as though it's bearing out what you do is take some off the edge keep doing it until you've got the profile uh, that you're after um, so just obviously keep checking keep testing and then once you're satisfied um, obviously that's sorted okay so that is um, the uh, transom planking finished so what we're going to do now is we're going to start uh, for putting the first planks um, on the bow and working our way back um, to to the stern so um, now what we're going to do is we're going to start um, planking the bow um, so I'm going to be using um, and, and if you remember we talked about different um, techniques for bending the planks so I'm going to use my um, uh, heat uh, iron um, with the the former um, so what I'm going to do first is I can just put the model out the way slightly because I want to bend the plank first so what you do with the um, the heat one is if you get your uh, planks that you require so I'm going to get about four of them five we'll do five um, and then just put them in some water so I've got a little uh, bottle which I've cut the top off I'm just going to put the, the planks in there just let them soak for a bit um, the iron is currently heating up as you can see um, so once that's hot enough um, obviously we can start uh, bending the planks so there's different types of these irons you can get there's one uh, which I've seen it's like a bigger shape and you just put it on and then you you pull it back uh, but I say the ones that I can, can only find in the UK at the moment are these ones here or this one so uh, this is what I'll be using so once that's heated up I'll show you uh, how we're gonna bend the plank with the electric plank bender Okay guys, so in order to test if the um, iron is hot enough, what I tend to do is get um, some water, just put it onto the tip. If it uh, burns off, that means the iron is ready. So what you want to do is get your um, iron, just start gently, just rock it back. Put the wood into the former, just work little bits at a time, you'll hear it going and then just keep forming it pushing it round hold it in place and then what will happen is once that wood dries it should keep the shape so as you can see it is forming a curve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about three or four of these in one go. Um, so that will give us two rows of the strips. Um, so I will get on with bending these and then we'll show you where they will fit. One thing to note, once, you, once you're bending it, um, check on the model. Um, that you've got the right bend because you don't want to go too far so just check on the model 
how much you need to continue to the bend. As you can see, we've checked that. Um, that fits nicely. So as I say, we'll carry on with the, the next three. So I've, um, as you can see, I've done six planks, uh, bent them, um, check them against the model. Uh, they've got a nice curve. Uh, so what we'll now do is, as per issue 17, we'll start fixing these to um, the hole. So I've cleared away the jig because I won't be using that for the time being. Um, so as what we want to do is glue um, the bow formers. So leave the middle one. Um, so we're starting actually from, as you can see, Move this up closer. So that's the middle one of the three. So we'll start gluing the these ones, these frames up to frame number thirteen, which is um, where the deck join is. So what we want to do before we actually um, put these in place, we need to measure the plank. Uh, before we fix it, measure the plank and then mark the middle of frame 13 and then we'll cut this plank down so um, that will fit to the middle and then the next plank when it goes on will put up from frame 13 uh, and then carry on down. Uh, I believe that's going to go to frame 21 but we'll do double check that um, so I will get on with measuring these we'll get that cut and then we'll get this first one glued in place all right guys so that is the first plank um, in place um, so as you can see it starts from the middle um, or sorry the, the edge of the middle of both the bow formers all the way around to the middle of um, frame 13. What we're then going to do now is get another uh, piece that will go from 13 to 21. Uh, what you want to also ensure is the top of the plank is in line with the deck. Um, so we will then work our way down from there. Okay, so I will carry on in the rest of the planking on this side and then we'll continue with the other side all right guys so that is uh, frame 13 to 21 glued in um, and tacked down um, one thing I would recommend at the ends um, do a small pilot hole um, as you're going in for the pins so that way you won't split the wood because um, we're talking right near the edge. So if you do a small pilot hole with a little drill bit, um, then you can put the pin in and that will less likely split the wood um, when you're inserting those pins. So we're gonna carry on from uh, frame 21 all the way up to um, the end um, uh, of the frame here um, so we'll get all that put in and then I'll show you what that looks like so just one another quick note is once you fit this um, plank in here from 21 to thing you want to make sure that the plank the top of the plank is in line with the top um, planks of the stern um, so they're all level okay okay guys so there we have it um, that's the first planking in place. Um, so it's from bow to number 13, 13 to 21, 21 to the end. Um, I've left a little overhang, that'll be trimmed off later. Um, so we'll allow that glue to cure while we work on the other side. All right guys, so that is the left hand side done. Hi guys, welcome back. So um, the glue has cured. Um, 
on the first lot of planking but before we're going to continue with the planking um, I'm just going to paint um, the stringers basically what we fitted uh, earlier on so I'll just show you those so I'm going for the painted uh, finish. So what we need to do is with some black paint, we're just gonna paint in here, um, this stringer on the outside, uh, both sides. We'll get those all done up uh, and painted. So um, that won't, that will all should be black so that when the cannon, uh, cannon holes are cut, um, you won't see the white wood, it will be black uh, to represent the inside of, um, inside of the ship. Um, so I'm going to just get that painted and I'll show you what that looks like once that is completed. So what I'm going to be using is um, the dull black uh, Admiral paints. These uh, you can buy from Diagostini, their website. So I'll just go to those and I'll show you what's uh, that once it's completed. Alright guys, so as you can see um, the stringer has been painted black. Uh, so you can do this anywhere from uh, as soon as you've actually put the stringer in you can paint it if you wish um, but make sure you do it before um, you plank too far down if you want in the painting finish um, so that's all ready to go so we'll carry on with fitting the second row of planks uh, and second and third row of planks and then um, I'll carry on with that and come back to you what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be fitting the second plank um, and what you want to do is again start it from uh, the bow but instead of going to 13 we are actually going to be going one frame forward to frame 7 um, so we're going to actually be staggering the frames um, so we'll get this one put in and you can see what that will look like uh, once that's thing so again line it up with the front measure the middle of frame seven frame seven um, and then we'll get that tacked in so I'll carry on with that and I'll show you what that will look like all right guys as you can see that is the second plank in place uh, stopping at number seven um, the next one to go in will go from number seven to number 20 um, so we'll get that put in now for you Okay, so that's the next plank in um, finally we'll do the remaining plank from frame number 20 to the end so again, we'll get that measured up uh, And get that all glued into place. So that will be the second row um, and then we'll also do this the same on uh, the other side what you want to do is um, do these evenly uh, because if you do too many on one side and not the other you have it you might have um, warp the um, actual um, boat which will make it difficult later on okay so just do one side then work on the other uh, and do it that way so that's the second row completed so now we're on to the third row. Uh, it's exactly the same as the first, uh, where we're going to be cutting off uh, the midpoint again at frame 13. Um, so what that will do is that will um, form almost like a brickwork pattern. Uh, so the, the join goes from 13 to 7, 13. Um, so we'll carry on with uh, the uh, third row uh, and I think I believe there is a fourth row as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do all four rows uh, and then I will come back to you once they are completed so as you can see the fourth row of planks has been done on both sides all the way down um, and they are all in place as you can see um, one of the things I've also done um, to fitting um, the bow section um, you, you need to have a gap um, to allow the, the the actual bow section here to go in it'll be part of the keel 
Um, so what I do is I temporarily, I put them in, temporarily fitted that in, and then you can push the planks um, up as far as they will go, either side, uh, and that will ensure that the planks are the right distance as well. Um, and then obviously continue to uh, pin and glue them in. So that's it for part one uh, of this um, part of the build, guys. So in part two, we're going to start fitting um, the row five. Um, slightly different way um, we've done the first four rows because we need to start tapering um, the planking because obviously when those goes in it's also going to be going uh, a slight angle so we'll be tapering these sections moving forward and we're also going to be starting the planking from um, the bottom um, so that will be in part two um, so that we'll start the planking along the bottom um, which I believe is uh, issue 18, 19, 20 and 21 um, so thank you very much for watching guys as always um, please like and subscribe if you have any questions please leave me a comment uh, and I'll try my very best to answer these uh, for you um, so see you in part two thank you bye bye